When a barn caught on fire this morning in Adams County, there was no escape for the eight horses inside. The fire started just after 2 o'clock in the morning near 118th and Piccadilly just after 2 o'clock this morning. When firefighters got there, the barn was fully engulfed. The fire killed all eight horses inside. Investigators ruled the fire an accident and say it was started by an overloaded extension cord. A wildfire burning in Mesa County has scorched nearly 600 acres. The Spring Fire 2 is burning near Battlement Mesa. This is just south of Parachute. The Sheriff's Office says this blaze is expected to grow because the winds there are so strong. Some families have been told to leave, evacuate. So far, though, no homes have burned, but four outbuildings, three trailers and several cars have been destroyed. The fire started yesterday afternoon, but so far there is no word on a cause. When a barn caught on fire this morning in Adams County, there was no escape for the eight horses inside. The fire started just after 2 o'clock in the morning near 118th and Piccadilly just after 2 o'clock this morning. When firefighters got there, the barn was fully engulfed. The fire killed all eight horses inside. Investigators ruled the fire an accident and say it was started by an overloaded extension cord. A wildfire burning in Mesa County has scorched nearly 600 acres. The Spring Fire 2 is burning near Battlement Mesa. This is just south of Parachute. The Sheriff's Office says this blaze is expected to grow because the winds there are so strong. Some families have been told to leave, evacuate. So far, though, no homes have burned, but four outbuildings, three trailers and several cars have been destroyed. The fire started yesterday afternoon, but so far there is no word on a cause. A man who'd been on the run from police was caught and killed this morning. Lakewood police say the man showed what appeared to be a weapon when they contacted him in a parking lot. The capture took place near First Avenue and Sheridan Boulevard. This was just before 430. Officers backed off and called him on his cell phone. He told them that he was armed. The West Metro SWAT team was called in to help. And then around 720, SWAT team members moved in and attempted to reach the man. Then shots were fired. The suspect was hit and then taken to the hospital where he died. None of the officers in this incident were hurt. A 12 year old girl is speaking out after falling 75 feet during a hiking trip. It happened while she was exploring with her family at Helen Hunt Falls in Colorado Springs. Lily Barker fractured her skull in three places. She also broke her nose and her ankle. This happened last Sunday. She says she and her younger brother made it to the top before their mom and they were just looking around when she fell. I was just like walk you over the edge because like I wanted to see if I could get back down to there with like just walking. Air Force retiree Hector Cruz Rosario was headed up the trail when he heard people calling Lily's name and shouting for help. He and another veteran, a retired Marine Corps medic, gave the girl first aid until paramedics arrived. He hold his ne her neck for a long time and like that she stay steady, she'll move, and she was in and out, in and out. Lily's mom says she was lucky and didn't need any surgeries and didn't have any brain injuries either. She was just released from Children's Hospital last night. A young soldier and Medal of Honor recipient from Colorado who was killed at Pearl Harbor was finally laid to rest earlier today. For 75 years, John England's remains sat unidentified in Hawaii's National Cemetery. And now, after more than seven decades, he's come home. Nine News reporter Nick McGill has that story. John England is now buried at the Evergreen Cemetery in Colorado Springs. His family says he's been buried right next to his parents. Well, a return to the 90s. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah, and mm -hmm. it won't be long. Plus, the next chance for rain in Danielle's forecast. That's next. Yeah, the, the gardens and the yes. plants and the flowers <laughs> are like, we're thirsty. Yeah, it's so dry out there. They're parched. They yeah. want some free water. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. All right, Danielle, thanks. <laughs>